that tiny spot in your skin, safe or serious, life or death. It sounds dramatic, I know, but really the stakes couldn't be higher when it comes to telling the difference between a harmless mole and a melanoma that can spread fast and kill. Because you've probably got a few blemishes, right? We sort of all do. But like most people, maybe you think, well, it's not growing, it's not painful, it doesn't look too bad, it's probably fine. So you watch and wait, sometimes waiting far too long. But here's the chilling truth. Melanoma can be incredibly deceptive, and I've seen firsthand how catching it early can be life-saving. I'm an NHS doctor and I see hundreds if not thousands of skin lesions every year. The vast majority of them, absolutely fine, not dangerous at all. But the peculiar ones, well, over time you develop a system, a way to separate the okay ones from the nasties. So today we're going to compare real photos of common and dangerous skin lesions. I'll walk you through my system for separating the safe from the serious and explore real life cases that might just change how you look at your own skin. And by the end, I'm going to simplify it so much that all you need is one word. All right, let's dive in. Take a look at these. Okay, so what would you think if you saw one of these on your skin? And which of them would make you nervous? The correct answer is all of them. These are all melanomas. Some of them, yeah, they look a bit nasty, right? But a lot of them, most people would just walk past without giving them a second glance. And that's the problem. Now, have a look at these ones. What do you think? Would they worry you? Well, these are completely harmless. Except this one. Another melanoma sitting quietly amongst the safe ones. See where I'm going with this? It's not always about big, black colored lesions that are scary looking. Some of them are hiding in plain sight. Let me show you one other thing. These two, almost twins, right? Well, one is harmless and one's a killer. Can you tell the difference? Don't worry if you can't. By the end of this video, you'll have a much clearer idea about what to look out for and more importantly, when to ask for help. Because this isn't about becoming a dermatologist, being able to self-diagnose every single mole. It's about knowing when not to ignore something. And that could make all the difference. Most of us have moles, right? I mean, look at me, I'm covered in freckles. I mean, look at these things. But they're just part of the scenery. And if they're not causing problems, then they're not a problem, right? But well, this is where melanoma can be incredibly deceptive. Melanoma is the fifth most common cancer in the UK and it's rising. And while sun damage and sunbeds are big players, melanoma doesn't always follow the rules. It's often in areas of your skin without sun exposure, but very rarely it can happen in very odd places like the soles of your feet, under your nails, or even in your mouth. So how do we tell the difference between a normal mole and something potentially deadly? Well, what we do is we fall back and we rely on systems. And I'm gonna give you one with a twist today. It's the ABCDE rule, but at the end, it's gonna have an added emphasis. Asymmetry. If you draw a line through the mole, do the two halves match? If not, that could be a warning sign. B is for border. Irregular, jagged, notched, blurred. Benign moles usually have smooth, clear edges. C is for color. Multiple colors in one lesion, shades of black, brown, red, even white or blue, that can be a big red flag too. Diameter, is it bigger than six millimeters? Then it's worth getting checked. But remember, small ones can still be dangerous. E is for evolving and this is the big one. This is the one we need to look at closer because this is what's happening over time. Let's go back to those two similar lesions again and have another look. This is still probably hard to tell apart, right? And that's fine. But let me give you something about the evolving bit. What if I told you the one on the left had been there for decades? It's not changed at all. And the one on the right? That one popped up a few months ago and has been growing ever since. And that context changes everything, right? Most moles appear in childhood, right? So ones that appear in adulthood, well, that could be a red flag, especially if they're changing in size, shape, color, elevation, it starts itching, bleeding, or crusting. And here's another simple rule to follow. The ugly duckling rule. If one of your moles just 
doesn't look right, it doesn't fit in, it looks a little bit different to the rest, then that one deserves a little bit of extra attention. Now I want to share with you a real case that I think hammers home just how deceptive melanoma can be. I met a lady in her 50s, let's call her Sarah, who was very worried, very anxious about a skin lesion she'd found in her leg that looked exactly like this. It was a nuisance for her, getting a bit itchy, a bit more red, and she was worried this could be cancer. She was sensible, right? She had a skin lesion that was changing, causing her trouble, and she went in to see the doctor to get it diagnosed. And within 30 seconds, I was able to do that for her. Seborrheic wart, not a cancer. I was in the process of starting to reassure her when something caught my eye, something on her other leg. And it looked like this. When I asked her about it, she said that was a new mole that popped up a few months ago. It wasn't bothering her at all, so she wasn't worried about it. I went and I used my system, A, B, C, D, E. It just looked out of place. It was an ugly duckling. I referred her urgently to a dermatologist. She was seen within a few weeks and she had the lesion removed and it confirmed the diagnosis. A melanoma, the nasty cancer that has the potential to spread throughout your body. Thankfully for her, it was got early enough that the whole melanoma was excised and she was cured. But without her taking action on a lesion that was causing her some trouble, who knows how long that melanoma would have gone before she sought help. And this is why paying attention, knowing what to look for, knowing when not to ignore something is so, so important. So we've gone through some differences, we've gone through my system, and we've looked at a real life case. But I did promise at the start that I would simplify this even further. I would simplify it down to be one word. And there is one word that encapsulates everything about skin cancer. And that word is change. Any mole that has a change in size, shape, color, oozing, itching, bleeding, crusting, get it checked. Any new mole in adulthood that's evolving, get it checked. And any spot that just doesn't look right, doesn't fit in with the patterns of everything else you've got, get it checked. And the other thing about skin cancers is we rely on our eyes and our experience and cutting it out to help get a diagnosis. And that's not the same for all cancers. Have a look at this video on prostate cancer, which does have a test, the PSA test, but it's far from perfect. It's full of flaws. It could be the best thing you ever did, or it could be the source of endless worry. In this video, I'm also going to show you what most of my patients say about the PSA test. Thank you very much for watching today. I hope it's been of some benefit to you and maybe I'll see you over there.